Hello and welcome back to Would You Rather. This is Ether.io. I'm David Inark, and uh, I don't know. I thought uh, it's been a while since we've done one of these. Why don't we just talk, talk amongst ourselves, chit chat, grab yourself a beverage and a snack, and kick back? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Would you rather always be sweating or always appear shivering cold? Um, okay, so it's not like would you always appear to be sweating, which I guess that makes sense. All right, so I would rather, um, I guess I would always appear shivering cold. I, I don't know. There we go. Okay, most people would rather appear shivering cold. <laughs> All right, would you rather give up buttons and zippers or give up Velcro and knots? Um... Buttons and zippers. Okay, so here's where my brain's going with this. You know, I'm thinking of things like pants and coats and jackets and, you know, everything that uses buttons and zippers um, compared to, um, you know, I don't use a lot of Velcro for things. Now, knots, I mean, you're talking about tying certain shoes and I'm sure, you know, in, in, in terms of not clothing related things, giving up knots could be a bad thing. I mean, you know, you think about when you tie stuff down or whatever, but I would say I, I think I could live without the Velcro and knots. I'd, I'd have to go with buttons and zippers. I don't know. All right. So most folks give up Velcro and knots. I have no idea. <laughs> what are we doing? All right. Would you rather? Oh. Ooh, now this. Here we go. Let's get deep and philosophical. Would you rather know when the world ends or would you rather know how the world ends? So, basically, I could know I could know when it was going to happen, but I have no idea how it's going to happen or I know how it's going to happen, but I don't know when. All right. So, you know, here's the funny thing. It's not really funny, but here's a point of discussion, as you, if you will. Um, many religions already uh, have outlined how the world ends, and are very keen to point out that uh, that that they don't know when the world is going to end. That no one knows when the world is going to end, but they kind of can detail how it's going to end. Um, uh, of course, uh, again, that's in, in religion. Of course, there are many philosophers who, uh, and, and heck for that matter, there are a lot of, uh, mathematicians and scientists who have plugged in all this formula and da, 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 da. No, the world's going to end on December 21st. Bah, wrong answer. Um, so <laughs> I think I would rather know, uh, when the world was going to end because, even if I don't know how it's going to end, if I know it is going to end on Friday, then I know I have that much time to do whatever it is I think I want to do or need to do before the world ends, um, which that in itself is a huge discussion. If you knew without a doubt, there's no changing it, there's no way around it, the world is going to end on Friday. What would you do between, and I'm just picking Friday, it could be any Friday, just whenever you're watching this, well, the world is going to end between the time you're watching this and the next coming Friday. What what would you do? What what would you, you can leave a comment. I, I'm, I'm the, I'd be very interested to know what you would be doing over the next, you know, up to a week, right? So if this was Friday when you're watching, then you have a whole week. However, if this is Thursday and tomorrow is Friday, you're done, right? So you know the world's going to end tomorrow, right? That Friday, what do you do? What are you going to do between now and then? Um, I don't know. That in itself is a great question. So, wow. Okay. So again, I would rather know when the world ends, not how the world ends, because I don't really care how it ends. All right. <laughs> All right. Would you rather lose the ability to feel emotions or be physically paralyzed? All right. So you either you either can't feel any emotions or you can't actually move um, physically. Um, 
to tell you the truth, I, I think I would rather be physically paralyzed because even if I couldn't move, I could still theoretically express express emotions and even if I couldn't express them let's say your my face was paralyzed and so therefore I couldn't express the emotion I would still want to be able to feel those emotions um, I would not want to be stuck not feeling emotions you know if um, someone passes away uh, you know there are emotions that go with that when a baby's born there are emotions that go with that we're coming up on the holiday season well we're coming up on Christmas. We've already been through uh, Thanksgiving, but we're coming up on, on the Christmas holiday season uh, as I'm recording this. Um, and there are a lot of emotions that go uh, with Christmas. And then there's other just day-to-day -day things. You know, uh, if somebody, um, I don't know, loses a job, loses a house, if somebody kills another person, or uh, even if you don't go that far, uh, there are a lot of deep discussions that take place based on emotions. Heck, look at the previous question that we had um, about um, the uh, wanting to know or, or what you were going to do if you knew when the world was going to end. That can be very emotional. So I would rather be physically paralyzed. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Would I rather have an attractive spouse that treats you badly or an ugly spouse that adores you? Um, this, is, this is all about, I mean, really, when it's all said and done, it's all about looks and how you're being treated. So this totally depends on your particular perspective. And I would bet that, um, as, as silly as this may sound, the older someone is that answers this question, the more they have a different answer. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm guessing. Um, because when you're young... Um, having someone who is very attractive is part of, I don't know, it's part of the way you think generally, or at least it was when I was a kid. Um, not a kid, but you know, when I was younger, um, whereas as you get older, what you may want, what you may crave is more of that affection. Um, I, I would rather have, I, you know, Yes, looks are important. You want someone who is attractive to you. Um, I don't really care if the person that um, you're married to or, or uh, you know, if, if two people are together, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks those two people look like. It matters what those two people think each other look like to each other. I hope that makes sense. I feel like I'm talking in a big fat circle. Um, but, you know, if... If I feel that my wife is attractive and then my wife is attractive to me, I don't really care if anybody else thinks she's attractive or not. Now, other people do, so <laughs> that works out for well for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go there. But, you know, okay, so let's go the other direction because that's easy for me to do. You know, as long as my wife feels that I'm attractive – that's what matters. I mean, that's all that matters. She thinks I'm attractive. No one else in the world, you know, I have a face for radio. I don't know how you guys talked me into doing a face cam to start with, but more power to you. <laughs> and for the record, if you look at my most popular videos, my most popular videos do not have the face cam. Is there a correlation there? I don't know. Anyhow, my answer is I would rather have an, a quote unquote ugly spouse that adores me. All right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, David and Ark, what are you saying? All right. Would I rather kill someone you hate and get caught or kill someone you love and never get caught? Okay, well, I, well I, don't, I don't really want to kill anyone, but if I had to kill someone, um, here's my problem. I also don't hate anyone. There are some people I don't like very much, but, I mean, not enough that you would want to kill them. Um all right, so frankly, if I had no choice and I, and I had to kill someone, I would rather kill someone I didn't like and get caught and take the punishment for it rather than killing someone that I love and no one ever finding out. I mean, because I would always know. I would always know I did it. Um, and, and why, you know, you're always going to know either way. So you might as well take what's coming to you. I would rather... Kill someone you hate and get caught. There you go. All right. 
So today I'm actually more with the popular vote than in most cases when I'm playing this game. So there you go. <laughs> okay. Would I rather live in a homeless shelter with internet access or live in an amazing home isolated from any outside contact? I think we've actually had this one before. I'll be honest. I don't remember what answer I picked, but I will say that as far as I'm concerned, I would rather live in an amazing home isolated from any, any outside contact just because, um, I mean, yeah, without the internet, you, I'm not making videos that you guys can see. I, I'm not connected, you know, that way. However, um, and I, I know it's just isolated from any outside contact. But I'm actually okay with that. Um, you know, I don't have to have internet access to survive. I'd, I'd be cool, so I'm, I'm good. My guess is this is where the things flip, and most people would rather have internet access. Oh, well, wow, look at there. It's almost 50-50, so that's cool. I, I don't feel so bad, and actually, I still end up on the majority side. Just saying. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. You never have to do one of the two. So, would you rather never tie your shoes again or never untangle headphone wires again? <laughs> uh, here's what's so funny about this. Um, recently, I was in Savannah, Georgia for a conference. And on the plane ride there, or I should say plane rides, this was you know multiple stops. Um, but on the trip out and on the trip back, in both cases, I spent so much stupid time untangling <laughs> headphones. I I don't care about never tying my shoes. I can walk. If I could never untangle headphone wires again, that would be awesome. And I know, here's the thing about this. This is such a dated question because um, there are already Bluetooth headphones that are not connected by anything. Plug them in, call it good. Or they have you know something between them, but generally speaking, they're Bluetooth, so you don't have anything uh, so I'm, I'm going to say that anyway. That's that's where I'm going. All right, look at there. I'm on a roll. This is this is awesome. I, f I feel pretty good that my answers are going with the majority. Although that also is not all that important to me. You know, I don't care if I if I was going against the grain. That's fine by me. All right. So would you rather sleep on the floor wearing PJs but have no pillow? Okay. Or sleep on the floor entirely naked but have one pillow? Yeah, nobody wants to see me on the floor sleeping naked. We're going to go PJs with no pillow. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Oh, would you rather only eat or only drink? Um, hmm. Now, I'm assuming that this does not take into account the bodily deterioration of what happens physically if you only did one or the other. I'm, I'm assuming that we this is sustainable. So um, could I, if I could only eat or only drink, I, th I tell you what, I think I would rather only eat because I could eat things that were moist enough that I would get some moisture. Um, I, you know, I would get that. Uh, I could get that liquid that way. Um, if I could only drink, I do not want to blend up a steak and drink it. You know what I'm saying? No, thank you. So I will eat. <laughs> I'm not drinking steak, and I'm certainly not drinking any kind of green grass stuff. Sorry, just not happening. All right. Would you rather, oh, well, this is easy for me. Would you rather br brutally assault a police officer or brutally assault a well-known gang member? Uh, you know, if, if I got to pick one or the other, I'm going with a gang member. Sorry. Uh, I I still fully believe that 99.9999999% of police officers are awesome people who are doing their jobs, protecting us and keeping us safe, serving us, upholding the law. Um Gang members, I'm not saying all gangs are bad. I'm not saying all gang members are bad. But, you know, if I have to pick one here, then it would have to be. Now, what's interesting is a well-known gang member. I have a problem with that in itself because I, I, I don't know any, at least I don't know that I know any. And they obviously aren't going to be well-known if I know them. So, I don't know. anyway, we'll go with this. <laughs> I have no idea. This is such a crazy game. Okay, this is going to be the last one. 
Would I rather, oh, live in a penthouse in the city or a mansion in the country? Well, um, I, I grew up in and around a big city and I've lived in, in and around several big cities. Now I live out in the country. Uh, I, I will tell you that uh, choosing one or the other, I currently live out in the country. So that is really the one I would choose. Um, there's nothing like being out in the country. Um, now, when I say I'm in the country, I'm in the country. I mean, I've got, um, let's see, we've got a potbelly pig out there. We've got a herd of cows. Uh, we had goats at one point. Um, we currently don't have goats, but we'll, oh, we got a, I forgot about the miniature horse. Uh, yeah, I would rather be out in the country where, uh, in fact, I'm, I'm so far in the country that if somebody's coming up to the house, I know somebody's coming up to the house, so <laughs> uh, I, I would much rather live in the country. Now, I will say, living in the city is cool. Um, I would love to live in Chicago. Uh, I, I would even love to live in um, some smaller cities. Uh, like I said, I just got back from Savannah. Loved Savannah. That was freaking awesome. Um, so uh, having grown up in both, in, or having grown up in and around cities and then having lived in the country for a large portion of my life, uh, I don't know. I, I see both sides, but uh, for me, uh, a mansion in the country, I'll I'll take that any any day. So there you go. Wow, I'm I'm surprised. A lot of people want that. Wow. All right. So there you go. Would you rather? That is either dot io. That's the name of the website. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button if you would. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those in the comment section below. Take any of these questions. Talk about them in the comments. Uh, what what would you do? What would you rather do? Which ones appealed to you? Which ones did you find ridiculous? Whatever. <laughs> Feel free to share those thoughts down in the comments. You know, I, I love uh, I love the uh, the the um, communication, the collaboration that we've got going on down in the comment section of uh, any of the videos. So. Uh, I definitely appreciate that you take the time out to respond, uh, even if it's just to say hi, even if it's to say, hey, I'm 922nd. <laughs> I appreciate it as always. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.